was alone for an eternity. The only other existence was darkness, with which I was completely repelled from. Even if I split my own being and created others, it wasn't any different from simply speaking to myself. I beg to differ, they seem to have plenty of their own personalities. Considering that the first two rebelled against you, how does that work? Animals crawling on the ground. I prayed for the time when they could speak to me on equal terms. Yes, it all began with that wish. Hundreds of millions of years have passed since then. Those people on the ground now revere me as their god. And so I acted as the god they wished for. I forgot my reason for being lonely and took on the role of a god. Before I realized it, I became dependent on their attention. Why did it I desire humans so? Did I simply want someone to talk to? Or did I truly wish to be a god over theirs? I'm judging, guessing, based on your creations, you were just horny. <laughs> After this eternity of time, I can't remember myself. I must be a god. Because if I wasn't, who would I be? Well, you could be a grandma. <laughs> if the people forget their god and don't require one any longer, then what would I be? No reason does a goddess have to exist if she isn't wanted. A world that needs no god. I can't allow that. This reminds me of when I spoke with Alice. When I was obsessed with the idea of what it meant to be a hero. And Alice was tied up with what it meant to be the monster lord. Everyone is bound by their viewpoint on life. And Ilya seems to be no exception to that. My existence was wrapped up in the thought of being a god. Was it all a mistake? Yes, very much so. If you want to be a god, there's no reason to rule with force. Simply watching over would have been enough. Nuka, look at your hand. Yes, I know. I knew before the bow started that this may happen. And is already turning into pure holy energy. My body is slowly being eroded away. It's the price of using all that power until now. I came here knowing the risk. My existence will fade. I have just a little power left. With the last of it. Now stop the erosion of holy energy on your body. You will help me? In the end, I want to do something godlike. Congratulating the hero who saved the world. That's the duty a god should perform. Ilias. Soft light clings to my body. With that, the holy erosion on my body is reversed. Now go, true hero Luca. You have people waiting for you. Luca? I had a strange dream. Was that a dream? Or an illusion? No, it couldn't have been. Luca! You finally woke up! Alice? What happened to me? At least this doesn't seem to be in the heavens. So I raise up as I take a look around me. I'm in a soft bed. These walls look familiar. Monster Lord's castle? How, how long was I sleeping? One month. You've been in a coma for a whole damn month! Do you know how long you've kept us waiting for you to wake up? 
All the celebrations and parties were put on hold because of your nap. I see. Sorry about that. Thoughts are finally starting to clear up. Since the Battle of Phileas, I've been in s asleep here for a month. What happened after that? Well, Alice goes over what happened since Ilias' defeat. Losing their central pillar, the evading armies all withdrew at once. All the shocked angels surrendered at once after losing Ilias. In addition, the chimeras and followers of Black Alice stopped fighting. It was a complete victory for us. And now you're wondering about it. But there have been hardly any reports of revenge being taken out on the defeated armies. The rulers of the respective areas have put firm laws in place to prevent any brutality. Of course, I did the same. I see. I'm so glad. After the war was over, there was no more need to fight. Any retaliation would just fuel future fights, after all. I must contact the four heavenly knights at once. Actually, it would be faster for us to go out and meet them. Repairs and recovery have been progressing all over the world this past month. And it's time for the hero's triumphant return. Even if it's one month late. We're right now? Everyone in the world has been waiting for you, wake up. It's your duty to make an appearance as the savior of the world. The major physical damage should have been mostly repaired now. Now come on, it's time to enjoy the world at peace. Alice, you're just looking for lots of feasts and food, aren't you? Hurry up! Galda! Alice drags me out of the castle. Tore around the now peaceful world. S said Heinrich did the same thing after defeating Black Alice 500 years ago. Never thought I'd be in the same position. Yep, he toured around the world, and if he did, if in fact he didn't uh, already have a child with Black Alice, he, he then went to impregnate the princess of Enrique before going off on, on a death battle against Stilius. Our first stop is in Enrique. Villagers are all waiting for me to come back, and I have to thank Michaela. Yeah? Where is everyone? But when we arrive, there's barely anyone here. Outside of the people from Ilias Village, there's barely any native Enricans either. Hmm. I heard the stories, but I didn't imagine it would become this deserted. What do you mean? Did so many die in the battle? Don't jump to conclusions, Luca. Casualties on the battle were at a minimal. The reason there are so few villagers here is due to another reason. Michaela? Michaela welcomes me at the entrance to the deserted village. First of all, I thank you. By all rights, we should be prepare a welcome celebration. No, no, there's no need for anything like that. You helped us when you really when we really needed it, Michaela. Your words honor me. Miss Athena and Marcellus would both be proud of you. By the way, Michaela stares at my face. The holy erosion on your body has vanished. In addition, I can't detect Ilias's power from you. Er that's I explained to her the dream I saw before waking up. Adelis healed me with the last of her power. I see. So she did that. Her loneliness cannot be imagined by transient beings like us. But no matter what I thought of when I was a seraph, I couldn't come up with any way to alter her path. It's a complicated feeling. Adelis is gone now. She's not gone, she was just moved. So where did everyone go? I don't see anyone from Ilias Village. 
They return to their village. This village's reconstruction has advanced a great deal in the past month. But it's almost, but it was almost completely destroyed. You rebuilt it that much a month? The mama took it upon herself to personally oversee the reconstruction of the hero's hometown. It seems she called upon all the Kitsune family to assist. I see, so it was with the mama's help. I have to stop by and thank her. What about the fallen angels and the elves? Most of them seem to be gone. This village was hiding them from the world. But now there's no reason to hide away. Most of them have moved to various towns and cities across the world. The only ones who remained were my clip's followers. I see. Well, that's why this place seems so deserted now. The other places around the world have accepted the former citizens here. You're a fine hero to bring down Elias. With that, I have no more regrets. But this is no time for me to relax. Follow the fallen angels from her downfall. It seems a refuge may still be needed. Can I stop by to see how you're doing every so often? Yes, you are always welcome. Now please stop by Ilya's village. They're all waiting for you. Yes. Let me hang off now. Michaela, thank you for everything. With that, I depart from Enrica. Riding on Gauda's back, it's time to see what the world is like while at peace. Where should I stop by next? Alright, time for the victory lap. Ilya's got it. Alright, Ilya's village. <clears throat> Manny. You did it, Luca! Oh, well, did you kill that monster lord? You brought down Ilias, too! You did kill the monster lord! My oh, wait, where'd that girl from before go? <laughs> Whoa, you got huge! You sure grew up fast! Here, have a cookie. Naturally, I'll gladly eat it. <laughs> Dang! So Luca came back with a beautiful Monster Lord wife! I never thought you'd end up hitched to someone so hot, man! We aren't! Who's spreading these rumors? <laughs> but you are basically married now. You've been living together for like a year now. I never doubt for a moment! I believed in you since I first set eyes on you. By the way, could you sign this? The bar hostess Risa wants it. There's a bar here? There's no bar in Ilya's Village. Did you add one to Mamo? I guess there's no prohibition against drinking now that Ilya's is gone. At least not for religious reasons. Yay! Look at he's back! He went and forced the Monster Lord to be his bride! Now he's back! Wait, that's not right at all! I didn't force her! What's the meaning of this? Elder. Today's youth is pathetic! Ilias this, Ilias that! They all just got damn Ilias on their minds! I always believed in you, Luca! I knew you'd keep the faith and bring her down! What faith without Ilias? Soldier. Hey, Luca! You did it! Hey, the Monster Lord, you defeated the Goddess! And saved the world! And I'll really go down in history as the soldier who saw you off! This is truly an honor! Former Temple Soldier. Thanks to the downfall of Ilias, nobody is passing through to her temple. But tourism has exploded due to people wanting to see the hero's hometown! You're the true pride of Ilias Village, Luca. I'm now going to stop guarding Ilias Temple and start guarding your house! Well, actually, that would be very helpful, thanks, because I've been gone for years! If it wasn't destroyed, there'd probably be squatters! <laughs> 
Former uh, Elliot Simple Soldier B. Huh? Your? I'm sure I saw those two in Enrica. He was one of the injured ones, confusing the elf's hell. Now it looks like their relationship is totally opposite. Of course it would be. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Ever since then, we sort of gone involved. Our wedding is next week. I'll be a part of this village too. How nice. Betty. Oh, you came back safely. That's all I ever wanted. I felt so worried after our last goodbye. I never stopped wishing you luck, hoping to meet you again. R really? Well, more importantly, the village's reconstruction is really moving along. I heard that the Kitsune race is helping out. Ah, that's right. All oh, those foxes came and helped to rebuild the village. They did it to thank you, it seems. I rebuilt my hometown while I was in bed. I really need to thank Tamamo. What are you doing the rest of today? We were planning on holding a huge festival for when you came back. Sorry, but I'm not coming back just yet. Now I need to take a look around the world. That's right. The hero who saved the world has to show his face to everyone. Yeah. So I'll be hanging off now. It's good to see you both. By the way, when's the wedding? W what? Where did this rumor come from? <laughs> Weapon shot. Sword I made has been by your side all through your quest. I know you barely used it, but it still makes me proud. I've gotten thousands of wars from all over the world. They're all addressed to the smith who made Lucas' sword. <laughs> Tool shot. Ronnie fell during the angel's attack. It's quiet here. Then who commissioned the rebuild of this building? Someone's going to take over the shop! It's been a few moments of silence in his honor. Ilias' temple. Now that Ilias is gone, the temple has been deserted. Though, it does still hold historical value. And just like the temples, us priests still have a role to play. We shall not preach the word of the goddess any longer. But as from ancient times, our role of guiding those who are lost will not change. Alright. On to Iliasburg. You. Awesome! It's the hero! I got so excited when I saw you! I let loose in my pants! I'm just not ashamed of it anymore! You know, I still haven't changed my pants from the last time this happened, too. They dry quick, so it's alright. Well, at least you're in sterile. <laughs> the little monsters did a lot during the final assault. They suddenly grew up and were really strong. After the fight was over, they were all in bed recovering for a week! I guess it was a huge burden on their bodies. Of course, they're running around healthy now. Please let me know when you, where you find them. Prostitute. You're incredible, hero! Just for you, I'll give some big extra services. No charge! <laughs> oh, excuse me. The hero already has his beautiful monster lord. What the heck? What is this already all over the world? I was about to get laid for free! Come on! Man. I was doing my best during the final fight, too. I was actually the one supplying all the arrows. When the angels finally surrendered, I was crying tears of joy. I really worked hard and did something back then. Now uh, we're back a piece. I feel myself getting lazy again. Yeah, I just don't want to bother. Old boy. This time, those bragging heroes actually helped out! They 
they withered under the glares of the citizens for so long after they stood by during Gambarius' assault. They tried, okay? They got their ass beat, and they just played dead. Come on, get off some slack. This time, the heroes, the citizens, and even the little ones all came to dare to defend the town. I think it's time to quit being a soldier. Oh, I think it's time to quit being a soldier. I'm tired of living in fear. But isn't the point of being a soldier to help others living in fear? I'm sure not all the monsters out there are nice. We did our best during the final battle, like when Grand Barrier came. I think this will be enough to stop the citizens from glaring at us. You tried the first time! <laughs> but yes, hopefully you've improved your reputation a bit. Probably. Weapon shop. Thank you two for returning peace to the world! Pup here is happy as can be too! Uga! I'm working hard! I defeat all the enemies. Yes, you did great. I keep training as a blacksmith. My dream in the future has become a legendary blacksmith. Yes, dragons have had a few legendary blacksmiths. I'm sure you will become a great one too, better than any human could be. Uh, the most legendary one, at, at least in Paradox, is a human. Yeah? Seriously? By the way, what happened to Goblin Girl? She's still running around the world? Goblin's still working as a mover, carrying things all over the world. So she hasn't settled down in town yet. This seems kind of lonely to me. Oh, the three of us also want to give you a present. Can you come behind the Southern and land in later so we can give it to you? A present? I wonder what the three of them want to give me. Their virginity is what. <laughs> No. Actually, there is no virginity giving. They are too small! You shall be adopting them! Finally! Oh! If it isn't the hero who saved the world! Thanks to you, this town is peaceful! Vampire Girl did her best, too! She's already... Uh, up so early, giving it her best. <laughs> it's all in aiming to have my own star one day. I see. I sure is shop there once, so you open it. I'll go if you sell something delicious. Oh, that reminds me. The three of us wanted to give you a present. We have time there. Come to the back entrance of the Cyrillian. Present? I wonder what the three of them want to give me. Adoption papers. church. Thank you for coming to the sacred bar! Now, my child, what would you like to order? Uh, apple juice. It looks like the priest turned this temple into a bar. It's a better use for it. They already were serving sacred wine, so it's a natural progression. Serling it. Oh, it isn't the hero who saved the world! I didn't think you were a normal guy for the first time I laid eyes on you. Yeah, so it's like I was spot on. You two have a permanent free pass here. Stay for free whenever you want. I've learned how to make all my dongos too! i treat you both as much as you want next time! Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, the three of us also got you a present. You can come back to the come to the back entrance here later, so we can give it to you. A present? Or what they want to give me? Adoption papers. I wonder what the present is. Other than uh, feeling pleased at the thought, for some reason I have a bad feeling. As I approach the back of the inn, I hear some whispers. 
The cat. Will it really work? I've had all my magic power into it. If that doesn't work, I'll do it by brute strength. You can't do it by force. What are they talking about? Um, I came as you asked. Hey, a chance! Vampire Girl jumps out, aiming for my upper body. All right, and as you can see here, it is clear that that uh, they have completely become Luca's children. You got L Teeny Lamia and Dragon Pup uh, trying to grab his attention while Vanilla there is crawling under the table as Luca signs adoption papers. Yes, that is clearly what is happening here. Nothing else. I've already adopted you girls. What are you doing? I dodged to the side, mowing her lunch. Vampire girl flies past me and lands on the ground. Uh, it failed! That strategy would never have worked! <laughs> Three scared girls run off. What was that about? Your daughters ran off to play. You have adopted them now. Congratulations on your new children! Stand puzzled at the back entrance for a few months before moving on. 